Hi, this is James Wu. Today I'm going to present a book I read recently, The Book Thief. Now let's start. Francis Bacon once said that reading made the fool man. I think the story, the novel, The Book Thief, just wants to tell us again why reading is so important. Actually, it's all about books, it's all about reading, about the power of words. It centers around a young girl named Lisa Meminger, about how she overcome the traumas, difficulties in the Second World War, especially when her mother, brother, foster parents, good friend die one after another. So it's a very emotional story, touching and uh, heartbroken, heartbroken uh, to me. So in my presentation, I will mainly talk, uh, basically talk about these questions. Why did I enjoy the book? Was it well written? What is the genre? What are the main characters? What are the reoccurring symbols? Is the book part of series? Was the ending satisfactory? And interesting facts about the author? The first one, why did I enjoy the book? Yeah, I really enjoyed the book uh, for three reasons. The first one is the language, the sentences, the beautiful sentences. I cited two here, the first one, the fingers of, this, of her soul touched the story that was written so long ago in her himo stray basement. As we all know, souls do not have fingers. It is metaphor. But the point here is that Lizzo is reunited with how she write the book Thief in the basement in her afterlife. The second one is, do you think my mother really loved me? Of course, every mother loves her child, even Hitler's. That's a very funny sentence. Apart from these two sentences, you can also see a lot of interesting, beautiful, and unforgettable sentences in the novel. So second, I like the narrative method. The whole novel is narrated by, by death. Yeah, death. Death is the narrative throughout the novel. So it's very different, a very special perspective of the third person, making us read that the story does not occur. So and also like the tone uh, of the novel, the tone you can say it is intimate and conversational, but overall it is, uh, I can feel the, a kind of sadness, a sense of sadness in, in the novel. Uh, I can see the cold, poverty and plight uh, in, in the novel because the setting is the Second World War. It depicts us a very cruel picture of the Second World War. So uh, I also like the tone. Was it well written? Yeah, it's very good novel, beautiful, very good. I have never seen such a good book uh, about the Second World War before. So I'm very impressed by the skillful and refined ideas. Uh, and especially impressed by the main characters, especially the protagonist, how she lived her life strongly and steadily. So as for the genre, uh, I think it can be said as a historical novel because it's about the Second World War, which really happened in our human history. And also I think it is a Holocaust novel because uh, it's about death, it's about blood. We can see blood casualties, uh, sufferings, uh, death in the, in the novel. Also, it is an adolescent novel because most of the characters are young people. So it's especially suitable for coming of age people. So I would like, like to talk about the main characters which play, uh, that play important roles that relate to the overall theme. The first one is, the, is Lisa Meminger. She's the protagonist of the story. The, she's the book thief, the title refers to. Everything's about her, about how she overcome traumas, difficulties in the Second World War by reading books, by gaining strength, by uh, retaking re uh, confidence during the harsh environment by, by reading. And also Hans Huberman, he's the foxster father, we can say he's the uh, first enlightenment teacher to, Liz, uh, to Lizzo. They help each other by writing the difficult words, new words on the wall in the basement. And Rosa Huberman, she's the foster mother of Lizzo. Although she's a sharp tongue nagging woman, actually she loved Lizzo very much. She was supportive of Lizzo to read books. And Rudy Steiner, a very thin boy, a neighbor, a best friend of Lizzo, he liked Lisa very much, always wanted a kiss from her, from her. 
when she found out that Lizzo still books, he helped to keep a secret. So he, he's also supportive of Lizzo to, to these books. And Max Vandenberg, a Jew seeking shelter from the Huberman, Huberman spaceman, and he became a very good friend of Lizzo because they both like reading. He wrote two books to and give a sketchbook with his life story to Lizzo. Uh, he plays very important role in, in the in in Lizzo's reading because 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 of him, Lizzo still began to steal books to read to him to comfort him to make to help him recover from the illness. So he he really influenced uh, why. Lisa wants to read. And Lisa Human, she's the wife of the mayor. She she's also uh, she also play very important role in Lisa's uh, reading life because she first first witnessed Lisa steal a book from the bonfire, and later that's why later when she met Lisa again, she invited Lisa to her personal library and to give her access to a world of books. That, that is to say, she provided a basic condition, essential opportunity for Lizzo to develop her reading skills and, and become a good reader and, and good writer as well in, in the future. And now let's talk about the three reoccurring symbols. The first one is book. Uh, it's about book from the beginning until the end. Everything is about book. So is this is the main theme of the uh, not of the novel books give Lizzo a connection to his to her mother and brother. Uh, reading also give her strength and color, and color is also a recurring symbols in the novel. Uh, it was man it was mentioned many times. At first, the deaf said that he has seen the book thief three times and a different color uh, uh, each time. That is white, black, and and red. And and his color is color a uh, chocolate color dark, and also uh, Ruby's lemon color hair is mentioned several times as well. So color is a recurring symbol, and death is also uh, a recurring symbol because the whole novel was narrated by him. He, he's haunted by humans. He he appears many times as an as a narrator, and make comment on people's life on people's deaths, uh, as as well. Is this book a part of a series? No, if it's not, it is independent story, a single book with a good beginning and a happy ending with a complete story. So it's independent, not a part of series. Was the ending satisfactory? Yeah, I think so, because of three reasons. First one is Lisa and Lizzo. Uh, we can see in the end of the novel, Lisa and Lizzo, uh, Lisa gave access to Lizzo a lot of a world, a whole world of books that make sure Lizzo became a good reader and writer in the end. So we we are, we feel we should feel happy for Lizzo because in the end Lizzo uh, can have access to so many books uh, to do what she likes to do reading. And Lizzo and and Max, the, this is a real surprise, especially when Max walks through the door of Alex Stainers. A tailor shop looking for Lizzo. That's a very happy reunion. Although the author of the novel didn't mention whether Max and Lizzo stay together, get married or not, he just leave the op op possibility open to readers. Let give a chance for readers to guess, to imagine. That's so. This is very intriguing for readers. It aroused readers' imagination. So I like this end. Uh, ver this ending very much. Also, uh, it, it, the, the Lizzo's late life is very happy. Uh, Lizzo died at 90 years old with the husband, three kids, and grandbabies. So this is a very happy ending. I think, and I think, Lizzo deserved this ending because uh, she has suffered so many difficulties in her life. So in the end, she deserves such a happy ending. So about the author, uh, I know the author of the novel is Marcus Zusak. Uh, he's an Australian writer and contributes a lot, um, won a lot of uh, awards 
by 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 writing books, especially this one, the book Thief. I noticed a very interesting coincidence is that uh, Lizzo died in where the author come from, Sydney, Australia. So this is, I think, is a very interesting coincidence. Oh, in the end, I, yeah, I will recommend this book to my friends, especially to those who are not very fond of reading. I will try to convince them, tell them, reading really useful, helpful, important to uh, develop our confidence, develop our mind, to feed our soul. So, why not begin to read? this book thief now